caught like a rat in a snap trap. Now I don't want your blood on my head, so don't wish any gold for me. Uh, I leave your share to the church, Paddy. <laughs> but won't let Father Murphy know where I got it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> God save all here. We didn't see you, Father. I didn't want to interrupt. I just dropped in to tell you the news. My friend Father O'Leary in the town of Glen Cove has a new bell that was given to him by Lord Ballenberg. And he has presented the old one to us. Ah, that's Lord grand, indeed. Father. There'll be a chapel bell in our tower at last. All we have to do is to go after it. Now, if I had a horse, which I haven't, I'd go for it myself, which I won't. But I thought perhaps there might be somebody here with a horse and cart who'd like to go for the bell. How much would that somebody be paid, Father? Paid? I suppose we might be able to scratch up two pounds. Now, I would have said it was worth two pounds ten, if it was worth a bob. Like enough it's worth three pounds, but since we're a poor parish, I thought perhaps you might like to take out the difference in the credit to your soul. Two pounds ten, Father. Why, my goodness me, a deed like that might even absolve a man from the sin of using the priest and the church against the powers of darkness for his own selfish ends. I'll do it, Father. I'll do it for nothing. No. As a reward, you may have the music of the bell. The music of the bell for me? Yes, and for your seed, breed, and generation till the end of time. It's a bargain, Father. I do them all. 